you, you, when you see these silvery white skies toward the horizon in the morning in, in the east, in the afternoon in the west, skies should be blue, not silvery white. And the bottom line is even when you don't see the horizon to horizon trails, we are absolutely still being sprayed. When you see even the shorter, bright trails, still aerosol disbursement. I challenge anybody, look at the high bypass turbofan jet engine, which is all tankers and all commercial carriers. 80% of the air that passes through that engine is non-combusted. That engine by design is almost incapable of making any type of trail. So when you see the silvery white skies still being sprayed, the horizon to horizon trails are the tip of the iceberg for these programs. And as this issue came to my attention, from losing significant amounts of, of solar uptake from whatever these aircraft were putting above my home. I had no choice but to investigate and I was astounded at what I found. Didn't like what I found, started to test my rainwater, found there was an incredible amount of toxic metals in that water. Those metals matched geoengineering patents and those amounts have escalated over the course of five years in the case of aluminum as much as 50,000% in a single rain event. We don't have that option anymore. Ignoring this conversation won't make it go away. So what we need are for concerned citizens, all of us, and civil society organizations who represent some of our interests, to get more heavily involved in this conversation. To make sure that we move from, is this possible, to is this desirable. Okay, so I can hear them spraying overhead I can hear the jets going overhead, but I can't see them because we have the thick cloud cover. And if we look off the coast, we see the lininess to this. It seems as though there are sprayed lines of geoengineering materials.